Dad, Dad. Son, Please, can I? I am trying to do a video. But, but... Honey, can you help me with glazing the ham? David will show up soon. Dad, please, please. Okay, okay, son. You can do the video. Jeez, my own family is doing a Kesselschlacht on me. Okay, dear, I'm coming. Hi, it's me, Owen. My dad is so cool. He let me do this video for him. So I guess, we will focus on Army Group South. Now that school is out for the holidays, I had some time to figure this out. So, here goes. I have to let you guys know, that there is a special first turn rule in this game. We can't go south or east of hex number, 187, 187. If we do, then we will activate the entire Soviet Southern Front. Because of the rules of ZOC, that will make it tricky to capture Lvov. But, it can be done. That is, as long as we allow the Soviets to keep control of the hexes, right below the city. They can only do this, if they are in the adjacent hex. So as we battle down to the city, we will have to make sure, that is the case. As we look over the troops, I decided we will use 17th Army's 4 Corps and some of its other divisions, to do the initial breakthrough. The other infantry armies to the north, will be used for another operation, that I will show you later. When we look over the two frontal units that we will attack, we see that one of them is a rifle division with an unknown unit. I will use the 296th and 71st, with air support, to punch the hole. I had already checked, that the core HQ, had support units to help, so I am not worried about the unknown unit. I am not sure if my dad ever mentioned this, but if there is another unit in the hex I am attacking from, I make sure to only select the unit I want, by simply clicking on them in the right side box. They have a yellow border around them, to show they are selected. It is easier, than trying to click them in the hex. We can see that 3SUs were used to secure the win. We don't know what that unit, in the adjacent hex is. We can't move our two infantry any further. So we might as well use them again, to attack that hex, with the same support we used before. Okay, after clearing that 2 hex ZOC, we can actually move our two divisions. We can then see what is in those enemy hexes, after the move. I decided to use the 296, to attack the adjacent hex, since it only had an artillery battalion in it. Now, I brought in the 262nd, to get a clearer picture, of what is going on south of the hex. Recon is so important in this game, to evaluate how to commit which units to battle. Normally at this point, I would have brought in an armor, and mech unit to finish the drive to Lvov. But this time, I will do something different. I will take advantage of 4 Corps SUs, and try to take out that rifle division with our infantry instead. We will move in the 24th, to support the battle. I don't like the cavalry unit next to me, so I will take that out as well. But the 262nd has 7 MPs, so I will bring in the 295th to help, and leave the 262nd, to use its 7 MPs for the assault on Lvov later. You can see, I am developing a salient, to support the drive to Lvov. We will bring in the 16th Panzer Division, to help us take Lvov, with the 295th and 262nd Infantry Divisions. I used that armored unit, instead of the mech unit, because it was too far away for any other useful missions. Here goes! Okay, we took it. I would like to have had enough MPs to have my infantry take the city, but instead, I will have to claim it with armor. I never like doing that. If the map highlight is right, then we did not violate the rule, that would otherwise activate the southern soviet front. Again, for the third time, we win a city ahead of the historical date, with 4 bonus points. My dad will be proud of me when he sees this. I will shore up the salient, with more infantry divisions, from 17th army. We can look at the front later, with Army Group South's two attached infantry divisions. You can see, I am careful not to trigger the highlight of hexes, in the row below Lvov. We want to make sure, that the Soviet Southern Front remains, asleep. The salient is now secure 
and Lavav is firmly in our control. We will now go to the next mission, but before we do, I want to inspect Guderian's southern flank. My dad was so excited about the general, I think he forgot a few things. I can see, that the southern flank needs improvement, as I use a 268th from Brest-Litovsk, to take out the Soviet unit, just south of it. Then I use it, to start the envelopment, behind the enemy lines. Then I will use the 286th Security Division to help create an envelopment. My dad told me, these security divisions were Hitler's insurance, in case the Wehrmacht wouldn't obey, his order of annihilation. Those security divisions were horrible, in how they treated the conquered people. Oh, I have a tip I think you will like. If we look at 52 Corps, we see there is an attached recon unit. Now, if I take its 101 Light Infantry, to scout out a Soviets, we don't see one of their units. You would think with the support of that recon, that would help us, but it didn't. Yet if I attach that recon, directly to the division, and then probe the Soviet line, we do indeed see the other unit. Cool! Isn't it? You can see, how important these recon support units really are. The game gives us only, four of them. Okay, our next mission is to take Ravno. This is going to be a real challenge for me. I want to prove to my dad, I can do it. I think I will transfer that light division, to one of the cores that will be in the mission. In fact, I will use the spreadsheet my father made, to see how I am going to plan the mission. I think he said he will leave the file in his Google box, so you guys can use it too. He also said, that he will show in the next video, how to best control the support units, and manually moving them around in the military structure. This is a part of that spreadsheet I am using, to decide what support units will go where, and what each of the army corps will do. Note the yellow highlighted cells, which will redistribute the support units. If needed, I will use the light division discussed earlier, as my eyes and ears, for the breakthrough. Okay, as we did in the sample before, let's give that light division a recon unit. Now we will give 55 cores 3 infantry divisions, 288s, and an extra pioneer battalion. Notice how the CVs go up, as we attach the support units, directly to the divisions. Then, we will send it to 1st Panzer Army. It will be used to help, reach and secure the path to Ravno. Now we will give two of 24 Corps infantry divisions, a Panzer Jaeger, for defense against armor. And Pioneer Battalion. We will also give 48 Corps single active Panzer division, some more Pioneer support. Next, we will give 3 Corps 2 Panzer Divisions, a Pioneer Battalion. And an MG Battalion to the 99th Light. Finally, we will give 24 Corps. Two Luftwaffe 88s and an artillery battalion. My dad taught me something really cool. He said for the Panzer Corps, put the needed support units, in the divisions, because they will always move past their HQ's, 5 hex limit. When in a defensive position, or fighting an enemy static line, keep the support units at the core level, for maximum use against multiple enemy targets. Thanks dad! Now we are ready, to drive to Ravno. I decided to use my dad's idea, of mapping out the route first. Here is what I got. It isn't perfect, but a good start. 
I will bring in the 99th Light Division, and its extra MG battalion to start the salient. It will attack the two artillery battalions. I see when I look at the details, that the extra MG squads, doubled the division's MGs, from 48 to 96. I will now take out the 3rd Soviet Artillery Battalion. The 113th will come in handy, as I go after the Soviet Rifle Division. But first I want to add air support, for the Sherwin. But it looks like my southern choice is still blocked, so I will try the northern route, with the 168th and the 44th. We can't see what that second unit is, so we bring in the 101st light, but it can't reach. So we will fight this unit, as is. Now the northern route will be ready for my panzer units. My 25th motorized will do the initial drive. It is battling its way until it needs more support. Now we will have to bring in some armor. We will use the 14th Panzer. There is enough firepower, so we won't use any air support. Rovono is now as good as ours, but that is not the only issue. We need to secure this salient. That one hex, with the two units we ignored before, may be blocking our infantry with its ZOC, so I think we will need to clear it out. We are in luck. 44 Corps can supply us two divisions, and support units to do the job. This must be our day, to be this lucky. Okay, we got them out of the way, but our job is not done yet. We will have to send in some armor, to remove that infantry division. So we will use the 13th Panzer. But it looks like, we are still not out of the woods yet. I will first see, if I can open the northern approach. I want to see, how many infantry units, can secure that front. We will send the 168th and 44th, with air support to dislodge that unknown unit. Great, that worked. Now let's use the two regiments, to get rid of the other unit. Now, I will redistribute the infantry, and secure Ravno, to finalize the northern approach. This includes driving away, threatening Soviet units. Okay, well it doesn't look pretty, but it's ZOC functional. Most of all, it's finally done. We will exploit that later, after we secure the southern front. We will do the same thing we did in the north, redistribute the infantry. And drive away the threats with our armor, if we can. As you see with the last battle, we are not always successful. It doesn't look pretty, but we finally got it done. Now we will need to send in our HQs, to support our units. I turned on the depots in production, to get a better idea where to put the HQs, for maximum usage. I sent both the 48 and 3 core HQs, to a safe place behind Ravno, to continue supporting their troops. I moved 24 core, within its 5 hexes of its units. I sent the 1st Panzer Army, to join the 55 core at the depot. I hope to increase the capacity for next turn. 
Now I will move core HQs in 17th army, to support their divisions. I will also shore up the front in case of any stray Soviet units, in their turn of the game. Okay, we have one more area to clean up, before we finish this video. That is the area on the front, north of the drive to Ravno. Also, maybe some cleanup, in the salient as well. Honey, can you get the door? David is here. Oh cool. David is here. David can help me now, so you can go ahead and join your son, honey? Okay son, let me see what you did so far. It is looking real good. But dad, I am not sure what to do with this last front above Ravno. Can you help? Sure son. Hmm. Let's see how we can encircle these guys. Okay, let's recombine the security division. And start the envelope from the north. We can move down the SS cavalry as well. Now, we will take the 75th and 111th divisions, and use them to punch a hole from the south. Then we will complete the envelope, with one more battle. Finally, we will secure the front lines, with the regiments. That should do it son? Wow, dad. Cool. Rosie, is Bill and his son, making another video? Yes, David. You know what? Let's go over there and surprise them. Well son, looks like we did a good job with the Russian front. The only thing left to do, is to check supply, HQs, and some minor cleanup. So before the next video, I will do some play testing, to see the effects of supply, rails, and depots. I will share the results with the viewers, and wrap up this game turn in that video. But one last thing, before we go. Happy Holidays! And may you all be blessed, and stay healthy!